Hey everybody, welcome back to Planet Coaster. Just a short introduction, in this video I'll be working on a German restaurant blueprint with a beer garden in front of it and it's not the most interesting theme that I've ever tried but the main reason that I wanted to try it is to experiment a little bit with the Christmas decorations. Uh, I haven't really been able to find some time to work with them yet and I didn't want to directly do something related to the Christmas theme, instead I think they're very uh, flexible and usable in so many different ways that I wanted to build something which kind of shows off the different ways in which you can actually use these Christmas decorations to make anything a bit more cozy. And um, I think the German theme is an especially good theme to try that with, since it kind of flirts a little bit with the general idea of a Christmas theme. It's cozy and it's got um, like a sort of mountain alpine vibe to it without being directly Christmassy and so that's a pretty good reason why I wanted to try this myself but it's not actually the main reason that I'm making this video. Actually the main reason that I'm making this video is to bring some attention to a live stream that the Frontier developers um, have organized in which the community managers at Frontier, at Embo, are going to be doing a 24 hour live stream for charity. Uh, the charity in this case is Special Effects, which raises money to help people uh, that are disabled actually play video games as well. And for the live streams, Bo will be doing 24 hours of Planet Coaster and Ed will be doing 24 hours of Elite Dangerous. And of course, in this case, I'm mostly concerned um, with uh, Planet Coaster myself. And so what they'll be doing is actually have guests throughout these uh, different streams. There will be guests from the Planet Coaster uh, team themselves, but there will also be guests from the community. And one of these guests is going to be me. And uh, basically, I, along with the lay designer and Rudy Renkamel, are making a park with blueprints to be auctioned for um, the stream. Because they're um, trying to raise as much money as they can, of course, and one of the ways that you can help them raise money is actually donate. I'll put a link in the description to it and also a link uh, in the description to the original forum thread in which you can find some more information. But people could also bid on different kinds of items. Um, so those are the different ways in which uh, they're actually helping to raise money for charity here. And we figured it would be a lot of fun to show off the game and at the same time be able to have something for people to bid on. And that's what we're working on at this point. So basically, until now, when I'm working on my thing, Rudy Renkamel has made the park entrance and the lay designer has made a tropical blueprint and it was basically up to me to finish it off with another blueprint for which I wanted to work on this German thing, which is actually quite a challenge for me since, as you might know, I am pretty bad at keeping the scenery amount low within certain buildings, but I had to keep it under 2000 for this one, so... um. It was a, a bit of a challenge in that respect as well. But anyway, if you want to check out the stream itself, I'll also post a link to that in the description. And something to keep in mind is that by the time that this video is uploaded, the stream should already be on its way for a few hours, um, but I won't be there yet. I will be there with Rudy Renkamel and the lay designer at around 6 p.m. GMT, which I believe is 7 for all of the mainland Europe people, and is around 2 p.m. I think for the East Coast. Um, so that's when we will be there, uh, showing off some parks, showing off blueprints and uh, videos and talking a bit about the game. Um, so I hope to see you guys there and I hope you guys also donate to the charity. But if you don't, it's all fine anyway because of course part of the goal is also to just to have everybody of the community come together and, um, well, celebrate the game without sounding too cliche, I hope. Anyway, um, I want to go back to what I'm building here for a little bit of a split second. Well, not exactly split second, but um, here's more or less the basic shape of the building. I got that down pretty quickly and most of the work here actually goes into all of the detailing. And one of my favorite pieces, because so far I've used just mostly pieces that were already in the game at this point. Uh, the new roof pieces though are super flexible and usable if you want to make like custom roofs, which I sort of did with the hip roof on the front there. Only problem is that it took me a pretty long amount of time, um, but I really love those pieces. But the, the biggest sort of change for me here has been all of the different gingerbread pieces and also the icicles and different snow pieces because all of those pieces are um, recolorable and have all sorts of very small different shapes which we didn't have before. And I think for that reason, 
they're actually extremely flexible and you can make some amazing stuff with it. So I actually just used some of the gingerbread decorations to make like some uh, painted on decorations which you uh, sometimes see in these kind of alpine and German houses. But they're also super useful for ironworks, which I'll get to later on in this video, or uh, decorations on top of roofs. There's a lot of stuff that I want to get back to in that respect. I just had to uh, add a lot of the planks over here because obviously the most important detail around the walls of a building like this is really getting the wooden framework right. And um, I don't know, in this case I sort of just went with whatever I felt like. Usually my approach to making these things is um, making sure that I know where my windows are going to be, then have the horizontal bars uh, sort of on top and the bottom and the middle of the windows fill in the vertical beams on the sides of the windows and then uh, fill in all the spaces that are very open and look like they still need to be filled in with more wood with either crosses or just diagonal beams. And that's basically my quick strategy for getting the wooden beams in. And generally what I've been doing for a long time and it usually works to get some nice uh, decorations in. Also I wanted to get a few Christmas decorations in here just to add a bit of green stuff to the building, which just makes it look a bit more charming. Um, but my one of my favorite things here actually has been the new Christmas decorations. Uh, because as you might know, I'm a huge fan of adding very small pieces to roofs, like golden balls and peaks, to make them look a little bit more fancy. And so far we didn't really have many pieces to try that with. It always took a lot of experimentation with all kinds of different pieces that we have in game to get something that looks just about right um, but now with the new Christmas decorations that are recolorable, I think you can do a lot more than just hang them in trees and make Christmas trees out of them. So one of the things that I wanted to try over here is actually use them on the top of roofs to make these roof decorations. And that's something which I really love so far and it's something where I think there's a very bright future for these kinds of objects. And I'm looking forward to trying and uh, placing them a bit more in the future. I haven't really been able to do so much at this point. I just very quickly tried some stuff before I went into this building. Um, but that aside, I haven't really tried it much. But I think if you just sort of open your mind to the different kinds of things that you can do, you might be able to use icicles to make roof decorations or use gingerbread pieces to make gables and gates for roofs. And there are so many different things that you can do with these pieces. It's I'm pretty stoked actually, which sounds pretty weird because they're super small pieces, but I think when it comes to detailing, these are going to be uh, game changers, at least in uh, some different themes like this one. And um, of course there's the smaller things like these uh, decorations and the lights that you can add around buildings, which is also just one of those small touches. It's not something like structural that really changes a building, but it's something that just makes them look that little bit more cozy, look that little bit more like it's actually alive. And I think it's it's touches like that that make the new update so useful for me. I do like the snow theme, um, but it doesn't feel like something that substantially changes the way that things look in the game. But I think that does go for some of the new objects which we now have. Speaking of which, by the way, just as a very quick side note, I've seen quite a few people request that I make a Christmas special series. I'm not actually sure about that. And the main reason that I'm not too sure about it is that I actually have more than enough series running at this point with Volvara, City Skylines, as well as kind of Koali Beach and Planet Coaster College. But I might try it, see if I can do something like Mjolnir, where in about three days I can make something small and Christmas special. But don't expect me to do anything because I'm not sure if I have enough time and resources to actually do that within this short notice. Um, but it's something that I would maybe like to try because so far I haven't really tried and work with the Christmas theme yet. Whereas that's sort of what everyone's doing at this point. It's just that I am mostly stoked about the new objects in general because I think whenever you get new objects in a game like this, the amount of things that you can do just sort of exponentially increases because there are many more new combinations that you can make with every single new object that's entered into the game. Um, which sounds super nerdy, I know, it's just what I'm usually most into when it comes to this kind of stuff. And it just kind of makes the, the game in general possible to uh, be that little bit more realistic. Anyway, at this point the, uh, the building is almost finished. I wanted to put the uh, small beer garden sort of area in front of it. Since this is a blueprint, it's a little bit confined to one area. I didn't want to make it 
like very fluid, flexible and path based since obviously it all has to fit in 2000 pieces and it has to be something that you can just plop down in a park and leave it at that. Um, so I wanted to make the, uh, the sort of terrace out of the wood in front of the building itself out of the straight wooden roof pieces and that's pretty much how it's all built and I'll build a small terrace with some tables and chairs so that we actually have a small beer garden in front of it. Um, but that's basically just it. I want to keep it quite um, well usable in different kinds of cases or wherever you could fit it inside a park. So here I'm just finishing off the details on the small plaza in front of it. Like I said, I wouldn't really usually make this so square because one of the things uh, that just makes it look much more interesting to, is to have a much more fluid sort of area around it with many more curves and interesting shapes when it comes to the paths. But this is just what is more or less the easiest kind of thing when I had to make everything out of scenery and make sure that it fits when you're placing it as a blueprint. Um, so also the tables and chairs had to be quite simple since the entire thing has to come in one blueprint. So it's just a couple of um, blanks for the tables. Actually a bunch of stuff for the chairs though because I didn't want to end up making chairs that are just super derpy. Um, so there are quite a few like different very small wooden cornice pieces in there. Um, but there's not too many tables and chairs so I'm not too worried about that. And on the other side I just wanted to place some general simple uh, scenery. So a small board as if you're actually entering a restaurant right there. Some barrels and general scenery and some planters wherever I could. Because you do often see these beer gardens with having like trees between the tables and being just sort of underneath the treetops. I just wanted to be careful with that since that sort of blocks out the view of the building itself. And finally, and uh, this is one of my favorite things and this is definitely my favorite way to use these pieces. I haven't really seen it before, but they are perfect for making iron works, like putting them together in all sorts of different directions and ways. Uh, you can make some beautiful uh, cast iron pieces. So that's something that I wanted to try here for the, the little sign in front of it. And I took the golden peaks to decorate that a little bit. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys maybe tonight in the live stream. Um, but anyhow, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys later.